Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Physical Thousand House channel. My name is Fola. Today we'll be learning something different. We'll be learning how to make big boss corsets. As a matter of fact, we'll be learning how to make corset for boss 48. And this uh, method could be applied for from uh, 44 to 52. But today we are making it for size 48. So let's get started. I already come with my basic body pattern drafting. This is the measurement we'll be making use of. We have a shoulder. Shoulder length is 16. We divide it by 2, give us 8 inches. Bust circumference is 48. We divide it by 4, give us 12. Bust point of the client is uh, 12. The bust palm, that is nipple to nipple, is 9 inches. We divide it by 2, give us 4.5. Under bust length of the client is 16. And under bust circumference is 40. Half length or waist length is 19 inches. Waist circumference is 42, we divide it by 4, give us 10.5. Hip circumference is 54, divide by 4, give us 13.5. We are not getting to the hip. All we are doing here is for bodies. The waist length of the person is 19 inches. This is the shoulder length and this is my starting point. This is our waist line. So from the shoulder length, I get my chest line of 10.5. How do I get the 10.5? You know, we are working with boss 48. You divide it by 6. It gives us 8 inches. You had 1.5. That's 9.5. So, this is 9.5 here. You measure your 9.5 after 1 inch shoulder slope. So, that's how we come about our chest line. That happened to fall on 10.5. Then we have bust point of 12 inches. We have... Under bust line of 16 inches and the waist line or half length 19 inches. And this is my bust pan of 4.5. I measure 4.5 here. I measure it here as well and I connect it. This is the bust pan line. The bust divided by 4. The quarter of my bust is 12 inches. That's what I get here. 12 inches. I mark it and that's how I connects my hammer cuff. On the shoulder line here, in this our shoulder slope, we measure what we are having here. We have 5 inches. We get the midpoint of it, which is 2.5. We mark it. Then, from there, we connect to the boss point. Thereafter, we come to the under bust line come to the right by one inch and to the left by one inch. Do the same thing as your waistline. One to the left, one to the right. Then you connect it with your straight ruler. So I grab my compass this way. I place it here. On the bust point when you place it on the bust point let it touch the under bust line here then you draw it around there are two ways to do this you can as well you know get your what the difference between your bust point and your under bust which is a i'm having four inches there as the difference you get that four inches you get it round. You mark it round. So, having done that from the underbust, you use your curve root to connect from underbust to this set with one inch. You come to the left and to the right. So, here now, the next thing we are to do is to, you know, we are having two inches here. One to the left, one to the right. So, that's two inches. You bring it, you want to share it here. So as you are sharing it here now to this side, this side will be more than this side. So for this side, we give this side the three quarter. We are doing this to tighten the upper body region. So we get 0 0.75 here. I get 1.25 to this side. So I connect it. So 0 0.75. 5 plus 1.25 give you the same thing you are having two inches it's still two inches but this is the way you are going to get it here we come to the center 
uh, front of our corset the neckline depth is what we want to get now so it depends on you depends on how deep you want it to be so for this project let me step down with half an inch from this uh, chest line I mark it this way then i step inward with a half an inch so then i connect it let me get it here as well this is the neckline depth now so the next thing we have to do now is to get our cup out proper and to achieve that we are going to connect from this 0.75 here so i will just connect it to this half an inch that i step in so it will give me my sweetheart's neckline The center front cup has been formed so the next thing we are going to do is to come to this uh, side we want to get the side cup now and to achieve that you know the bust is fuller by the armpit side so to achieve that which means the cup for this side has to be bigger than this that is how it is for every corset so when we measure the quarter of our bust circumference which is 12 inches this is where it falls so we measure from there to the normal line so we have four inches so we get a, cent a midpoint of it which is two inches so on that two inches we step down we step down with half an inch then from this bust line we step up with one inch which happens to be here as well so we we'll connect it. I first did this so as to know where exactly to, you know, step up. So, this half an inch now, we we'll still connect it. But before then, let me, the same half an inch, I will step down with half an inch here, where our 12 inches ends. So, I connect it. So, this will serve for, as our new ammo for corset. If you measure from here now to the center front, we have 4.5 4 inches. So for this side, it has to be one inch bigger than this side. So when you measure this side now, it gives us 5.5. So we are on the right lane now. So the next thing we have to do is to connect from this, this point now. We connect to this very point. So the next thing is to connect from this one inch now, we connect to this uh, end. We have been able to create the cup for this size now. So you can see that it's already formed. So for this upper bust region, we need to tighten it very well because it's for big bust. So what we do is that we come to this side with half an inch. This side as well will come out with half an inch. If it is normal bust, you just come out with a quarter of an inch. So I will reconnect it now. So all we are trying to do with this is to tighten the upper chest region so that your corset will be firm in the upper region, upper bust region. I need to measure what we are having here. We have four inches in this side this very thing because you are going to by the time you will be joining it together it will be on equal side you have to check what you are having we have four inches here we have four inches here as well so we are good to go in case you have any shortage in any of this you have to you know fill it back after cutting out but this one is on point so Having done this, the next thing is to get our horizontal measurements. And you know, we have already gotten this, the bust. Bust circumference is 12 inches. We have 12 inches here. So on the bust circumference we are working with is 40. So we divide it by four, give us 10 inches. We measure 10 inches here, 10 inches. Then we return two inches we are having inside here. 
So we come to the waist region. The waist circumference we are working with is 42. We divide it by 4. Give us 10.5. We measure 10.5 here. We return the 2 inches we are having in side here. So in this uh, bust region, the chest in the chest line, you know, this is uh, 12 inches. Whatever we are having in, inside here, we have to return it back there. We have half inch inside here. We return the half inch. So then we connect it. We connect the the bust to the underbust. Then from underbust you connect to the waist. Yeah, this is the the pattern draft for the big uh, bust corset. So the next thing we are going to do now is to cut it out. But before we cut it out, the corset we are having here is two piece corset. In case you want to make it three piece, all you need to do is to come to this side. You measure one point five here on the bust line. You can see this is where you measure down one point five. Here you measure down three inches on this, at the center here. Measure down three inches. Then you come to this side and measure two inches. Then you connect it together. So can I just use a contrast a marker to connect this? Because it's not everybody that wants to make it three piece. So as to see the difference. Yeah, in case you want to make yours three piece. So this is the way you are going to do it. After cutting it out, this upper one will be joined together. You are going to match it together for this to become one. So let's move on. And the next thing to do is to, to get our side darts. So on the bust line, I step down with 2 inches. This is a big bust. You can even use up to 2.5. Let me just use 2 inches. Then you connect it from here. You connect to this end. To the bust point. Yes. So note that the seam allowance will be added to heat later. So let's cut it out now. I think that's all. So as we are cutting it out, this will serve as the yoke for as many that want to fix yoke with it. In case you are not fixing yoke to yours, you can just step down with half an inch. If you are not fixing yoke, the half an inch will be determined here. So you just connect it to this. I'm using the uh, contrast uh, marker for you to know the difference. In case you are not adding yolk, so it's always good you follow this. You blend all the area you need to blend. All the area that need not to be to look sharp ensure it is plain so let's just cut it out now so this is our starting point i'll cut with this line but after cutting it out you are good to have some allowance to done I'll connect this, I mean, I'll close the side that. So after closing your darts, you can see that this one has shifted. So you need to reconnect it back. 
So this is our new cork now. So, and this, you need to reconnect this as well. Step down with 1.5, then you reconnect it. So we continue cutting now. This is it. So, in case you are making use of your yolk, this is the yolk. Let me cut out the yolk. You know, I told you, in case you are not making use of the yolk, so you cut out this very line green up here, cut it away. In case you are doing three piece corsets. So you are going to cut out this, this green line. You cut out this, you cut out this. Then you match it together. If you want to know more about that, we have video on that. Go and check our three-piece cork because I won't go into that, this uh, video. And all this now, when you are cutting it out on your fabric, have an inch seam allowance will be added round. So let me take that one again, this very one. I told you if you are adding yolk, to these uh, corsets, don't cut away this this line. But if you are not adding yolk, if your corset is the one without yolk, it's advisable you cut out this this half an inch that we step down to give you uh, more fitness in that uh, upper chest region. So ensure that half an inch is added. You add out half an inch here, half an inch will be added here. Half an inch, you know, half an inch will be added this way. These are more cough, and now half an inch will be added here as well. I mean, here, half an inch will be added this way. This is the center front, this is going to be on foot. Um, half an inch will be added down here. So, that is for the yoke. So, for this. I've told you have an inch will be added round here, have an inch will be added round here, have an inch will be added here, have an inch will be added up here, have an inch here, have an inch down here. So have an inch will be added here, have an inch will be added here. Your seam allowance of a 1.5, 1 to 2 inches, so you can add 1.5 by the side will be added there. Have an inch, have an inch. Have an inch, have an inch up here. This is the center front. This is on foot, on foot. Have an inch will be added here. Have an inch will be added here. Have an inch. So that is for the for the front cut. I tell you, honestly, if you use this pattern to cut out your big boss for sets, you will see the result. I made it for a client and it came out nicely. I will show you the, you see the hand results. So let's just move straight to the back cuts now. As you are cutting, everything is going to be on foot. Now to draft the back pattern of our big boss for sets, so I have come here with my back basic body pattern. So I here, this is my starting point. And you know, I have 17 inches here. The 19 inches is our waist line and two inches has been used as the side that. So we are left with 17 inches for the length of our back bodies. So here we have 17 inches. So this is for joining allowance of an inch here. Then. This is my starting point, so that length here. Then I measure one inch as my zipper allowance. I measure one inch, measure it here, and I roll it down. In case you want to fix zipper at the back of your corset, or you might want to use lacing. So that one is another thing entirely. From the shoulder lines, 
you know our chest line is 10.5 inches in the front but you know we step down with half an inch so that's half an inch that we step down it will be added to the chest line at the back here so that the side of your corset will be matched so we use 11 inches here as the chest line for the back then 12 inches as our bust point here we have it then 17 inches as our waist line so the next thing we are doing now is just to get the bust span of 4.5 on this bust point 4.5 we get it here as well, 4.5. Then we come to the left and to the right with have an inch at the waistline. Then we connect it. We have already gotten our bust circumference of 12 inches. This is it. That is what we use to get our arm or cuff. So for the back, I need not to come in at all. So I just connect my arm will cuff this way. For the depth of my back neckline, I step down with 1.5, then the wideness is 3 inches, then I connect it with this, just this way. Then I step down with 1 inch, so they are slow. So the next thing is to get our waist circumference. The waist circumference we are working with is 42, we divide it by 4, give us 10.5. So we measure 10.5 on the waistline, we return this one inch of that. We want to take care of the zipper bulging. We step out from this line with half an inch. Then we connect it to the chest line point, or you can just step up with two inches to connect it. From the chest line, you can just step up with two inches then you connect it so to shape our back so this half inch that we use here now we return it here half an inch so then we connect it so this is for the back then you shape your back in case you are not i mean for the this this will serve as yoke but just to shape your yoke so on the chest line, you can just step down with one inch or half an inch. Let me just step down with half an inch because you know it's big box corset. The back is already low. So I just connect to this half an inch. You know, it's always good to cuff it at this region so as to differentiate it from the damp parts when you are cutting so that there won't be any mix up so that is for the back cut in case you are making use of a lacing just come to this chest line measure two inches in up here down parts you can just measure 1.5 then you connect it so you are going to cut it out so in case you are doing lacing so you don't need all these parts but if you are using zipper, you are good to go with all this. So let's cut it out. So I'm going to close this dart. Let me separate the yoke. So it has to be easier for me to close the dart. So this is it. This is the back yoke. When you are adding your allowance, ensure that half an inch is added here and half an inch is added down here as well. Half an inch is added at the shoulder line here. This is the back bodies. So you had your seam allowance of 1 to 1.5 to this. That is for the side here half an inch will be added, half an inch will be added A. So, that is it. So, 
ensure that your darts overlap at the upper region here. There used to be surplus in this region, so let it overlap like quarter of an inch up here. So, this is the back yoke, and uh, you can see this is the side of the front. By the time you match it together now, this is it. You can see it's on the same level now. Front and back. Now, this is the front cut. I've gone ahead to name my cup so that it won't get mixed up by the time I'm joining it. This is cup A, cup B, center front. This cup A, side front. And then if you are the one making three piece corsets, just name it one A, one B. So later you join this together and it becomes one. So you name this two, three. Another tip I want to give you about this uh, big boss corset is that it's good for you to use caging for this cup region. It's good for the big boss corset. Don't just use ordinary wording or footable interfacing. You will use all those ones, but caging will be included. It's always bring, make it to come out nicely. That is what I use in the one I make with this pattern and it's very nice. So. That's all about the big boss called corset. I'm sure you have really enjoyed it. Share it with your friends that might be having a problem in making big boss corsets. Drop your comments on the comment section. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure you do so today. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.